welcome to the vlog or at least this week's version of the very boring vlog i don't i don't know like i'm just kind of tired that's it that's my update thanks for watching no i did start the book that i'm reading which is if i can hold it up the henna artist by alka joshi this is um historical fiction set in india um about a woman who when she was like a teenager she had an arranged marriage with a man she didn't want to marry he was abusive and she wound up running away and now years later he's found her she's like 30 now and she has a little sister that she never knew and i don't know like it's weird um i like aspects of it i like the overall story and the premise and it's cool and it looks like unfolding interestingly and last night i started it and i read like 50 pages like genuinely just sat down and read 50 pages without trying so i am interested in it but i don't love the writing style to be honest um it's kind of just like fine like it doesn't do any favors to the story let's put it that way it's not like terrible it just feels like a little bit amateurish but i don't know i am enjoying this this is an arc it comes out march 10th see all the pretty arcs um yeah i think this is the last of the new arcs like the arcs that i got that have yet to come out and then i have some arcs that i picked up from work that have already come out that i want to read soon but like aren't super priority because like they've already come out so i don't feel bad about like not having them first so this is the last one that i really need to focus on and i only read the first paragraph of the synopsis so i really don't know where the story is going but so far i, I do quite like it I am continuing on with the henna artist. Um, it is good so far. Again, still having some issues, but like overall, I really do like it. Um, it'll probably be three or four stars depending on where the story goes and all of that. But the reason I'm updating is because I went to the library today, didn't check out any books, but I did buy two. Um, and those two officially put me at 500 unread books that I own so I'm not sure if that's like an accomplishment or a bad thing so I'm kind of excited about that but also like I have to read 500 books and if I literally only read from my shelves and didn't reread anything didn't do anything just read the books on my shelves it would take about four years or so and that was if I was like consistently reading and having like good reading years like four years um that's a lot but also like I don't know I saw two books that I really wanted at the library and books that like I actively wanted to read and had for a while and it seemed like faith that that put me at exactly 500 so I'm gonna now from now on start working really hard to get that down I found an angle that worked finally in the car with the sun just beating down on me because now that we've jumped forward an hour it's like daytime all the time um i finished reading the henna artist by alka joshi um i gave it three stars it wasn't bad it wasn't great it was like it was fine you know like i honestly felt the writing was like kind of amateurish which i don't like saying just because i don't feel like that's a very good descriptor like it doesn't tell you any of the issues i had with it but it did just feel like she was just like barely scratching the surface with all the all the things in the book and she was just like barely doing it in a way that functioned and I don't know I didn't like her writing very much and the story was kind of okay and I don't know I had some issues but like it was fine overall and now I am reading Cold Fire by Tamara Pierce which is the third book in the Circle Opens Quartet um I'm nearly done I was stressed earlier today and none of the youtubers I watch outside of booktube had posted and I was like too stressed for booktube to like focus on anything so i just read and got through a bunch and i really enjoy it like it's weird to me how much i've enjoyed dasha's books out of the circle opens and the circle of magic quartets just because she's not one of my favorite characters and i don't particularly remember enjoying her books more than the others like they're always fine but like in both series her book has been by far the most interesting to me so that's interesting 
good to know. Um, this morning, I'm going into work now, which is why, oh no, you can see it in the background. I don't like that. I'd rather, I'd rather just have terrible lighting. Um, um, oh, what was I going to say? I'm applying for other jobs, which I think I've mentioned before, because like working part-time retail does not get you anywhere in life, really. <laughs> it does not get you money, which I need. So I've been applying for some st stuff, and I took a, a test this morning, which is, it was like a pre, it was like a pre-screening test. Like basically anyone who applied, you were like, hey, sign up for a test on like one of these days. And if you pass, then you'll like continue on to like the second part of the process. And I took the test this morning and I passed. And it was like, it was this whole big ordeal, which I think just like a lot of people just didn't sign up because they didn't want to go take like a three hour test before they could even like apply for this job. But I passed the test, which means now I just have to get like six personal references that all have to be in person because I was definitely going to use like online people and I can't because it has to be like written on paper and like signed and put in an envelope, which sucks because like welcome to the 21st century guys. So I have to do that and then complete like this 40 page personal history and like then like get a background check done and a polygraph and a psyche val and <laughs> working for the government is fun guys um, but I don't know I might I probably won't get the job to be honest but like I did pass the test and out of like the nine people who were there today only four of us got past the test so like maybe I don't know um as long as I don't like screw up anything else um I don't have anything in my past like didn't do drugs don't have any felonies or even misdemeanors like should be fine um never taking a polygraph so that'll be interesting if i get to that point because that's like one of the last things to just like confirm that you're good um interesting very interesting uh i also forgot to add a book to my tbr for this month i'm going to be buddy reading the cuckoo's calling the the robert galbraith book <laughs> um the first one I can't, I can't remember the name. I think that's the name, but like, it sounds wrong. I'm going to be buddy reading that with Abby Mac Reads. So that'll be fun. I've wanted to read that series for a while. I just wanted to read The Casual Vacancy first, which I reread, I reread, which I read last year. And I really enjoyed that actually. Like, I know no one else does, but I did. And that's pretty much where I am. Um, going out of town this weekend. So that'll be fun. And then I just, I just work a bunch. I've been working for like five days straight at this point and I've got another few days to go and I'm ready for, I'm ready for a few days off. It's Wednesday and I have made basically no progress on this book. So huzzah for that. Um, yeah, I need, I need to read more. <laughs> I've just been kind of consumed with stuff for the, the job application because that's basically what I'm doing. Um, reading a little of that now, I did finally just today get all six um, questionnaires, the personal references that I need. I need six and I've finally gotten six people to agree to do it. So that's good. Um, they haven't all done it yet. I have one out of five or one out of six. I have five left for them to finish, but like they've all agreed to do it by the due date. So yay, that's a big weight off my chest. And then I have to fill out the personal history statement, which is like 40 pages of me stating in many different ways that I don't do drugs and I don't have a felony and here's all the parking tickets I've ever gotten in my life and the government is thorough. I need neighbors for that too. Like I need two neighbors and that's, I don't know any neighbors. So like that would be interesting, but it is, it is progress and I'm very pleased with that. And tomorrow I have work. Tomorrow's my last day of work, but I only work for like four hours. So that's chill. And after that I have to go take my car in and um get that inspected because since i'm going to be out of town or like i'm driving down to south carolina which is like seven hours away so <laughs> i would like to have my car checked out before i go because like it's fine it should be fine but it would make me feel better to make sure like the oil is changed everything is rotated and aligned and all that good stuff and since i'm doing that tomorrow i will hopefully have a lot of time to read and i was gone all day i worked all day my boyfriend worked all day so Baby Mima is just lumping. She cute. Yeah. We had a sad day today. She had a very sad day, so I'm just giving her lots of pets and attention. Today is road trip day. Yay. Um, fun, 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 fun. Um, I also got my hair cut. So, like, 
you can't really tell because it didn't change a whole lot and like I don't think the woman who cut it did a great job which like kind of irritated me because I probably should have just done it myself and it would have looked bad but like not that much worse than this but whatever it's no longer quite as mullety in the back it's like all all roughly the same length now which is nice I have low standards for hair um I did finish shattered glass finish the reread fun vlog which will probably be up before this video um, but yeah, I did like this book. Kind of surprised me a little bit in how much I liked it. So since I finished that and I'm leaving today, I'm not going to be starting anything else new. Well, I got my car service yesterday and while I was there, I started, uh, where is it? Um, I'm holding both of these. <laughs> um, I started Five Dark Fates, which is the final book in the Three Dark Crown series, just because I'm kind of at the point where like, I want to finish it. It's not bad, it's not like I'm forcing myself through it, like, oh, it finally needs to be over. It's just that, like, I've kind of had this series on my plate since, like, November, and I just really want it to be, like, done. Like, I, I want to get through this, and I want to have it stop, like, hanging over my head. So, I am a little bit, just a little bit into this, and hopefully it's good. Like, I'm enjoying it so far, it's, like, the same as the others which is nice. Um, so I'm taking this with me on my road trip. And I'm also taking The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson on my road trip because I still haven't finished this one. Um, it's not, I don't know, I don't really expect to do much reading, but I feel like by taking both of these, I'll take like a fun YA fantasy that'll be like quick and easy to get into. And then I'm taking a, a darker nonfiction book that's like, gonna take time and like I won't run out of things to read you know by taking both of these so those are the only two books I'm taking but I really don't expect to finish either of them this weekend I'm driving down to Charleston which means what I will probably finish is my Harry Potter book that I'm listening to which is um Prisoner of Azkaban I'll probably finish that today I have a couple of hours left but the drive is also like six hours long so um we'll probably finish that and then I have the Goblet of Fire already downloaded so I'll probably make good progress on that maybe not so much today but definitely Sunday when I'm driving back um I'll probably update you as I'm driving just because it's boring and it's like a six hour drive more than six hours it's like six and a half hours without traffic which I don't know what with the coronavirus if there's going to be like a lot of traffic because everyone's like oh no panic I must do things now or if it's going to be like no traffic because everyone's like oh no panic must stay inside but I don't know we we will see I'm hoping for less traffic just because I would like to not be sitting in traffic while trying to get there because that kind of cuts into my time with my best friend but yeah um we'll probably update you occasionally this weekend maybe not a whole lot but I will try. One thing that I find striking in listening to Prisoner of Azkaban, most of these road trip updates are probably going to be about Harry Potter just because I'm not doing anything except listening to Harry Potter for like seven straight hours. But <laughs> Prisoner of Azkaban, I'm near the end. So I'll put like a timestamp if you want to skip spoilers for Harry Potter, but I feel like most people have already read it or don't care because they're not going to. But like this will spoil Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, at the end, because I'm getting close to the end, and S Sirius and Remus are, like, confronting Peter, and they're going to kill him, and Remus is like, you should have realized, Peter, if Voldemort didn't kill you, then we would, and it's just like, you don't really notice that as a kid, because when I, at least me, like, when I was a kid, and even, like, as a teen and stuff, and I've reread this as an adult, not really thought about it much, but, like, you don't think about it, you're like, okay, Peter betrayed Lily and James. He caused their deaths. Like, unequivocally, he doesn't really care. He's just, like, selling whatever to the highest bidder, basically, and doing these horrible things, and you're like, yeah, he deserves to die, which, like, I'm not really disagreeing with, but, like, it's, like, all these things, like, okay, yeah, he's a bad person, whatever. Um, but then it's, like, <laughs> you really think about it, and you're like, Sirius and Remus especially Remus, because I guess, like, Sirius has been in prison, whatever, they get to murder so quick, and just that line in particular, you should have realized that if he didn't kill you, then we would, just, like, that's normal for them, like, murder is normal for them, like, it doesn't take them long to get there, and they don't really seem too concerned about murdering someone that was one of their best friends as a child, and it's just, like, wow, 
wow, how do you get there so fast? And I mean, I know it's been like 12 years. So like, serious, I understand a lot more because like, whatever mental issues he now has from being subject to the defenders for so many years but like remus who's a teacher who's just like in front of these three children like oh yeah we're just gonna murder a man in front of you like it's fine don't worry about it like they just they get there so fast and it really makes me question like what kind of people they were like all the things about them it's like oh we were stupid kids whatever like we bullied snape because we were like dumb teenagers and even harry calls them on that at some point But it's just, like, they just get to murder so fast. And I really can't, like, fathom that and, like, what kind of people they were. Because, like, they say they did all these reckless things because they were dumb kids. But, like, yo, you're you're fully grown adults now. You're in your 30s. And you're just going to murder this person. And Remus is just, like, rolling up his sleeves. Like, okay, let's get down to business. Like, dude, you are a teacher. You're just going to murder this person. Like... I don't know it doesn't really matter because it's it's whatever but it is just like wow wow so it's like almost one and I am in North Carolina I still have a couple hours left to drive which is fun Um, I stopped in North Carolina for food because it was like I hadn't eaten yet today and I didn't want to wait to eat until like I don't know after four whenever I get there because I don't know how long that's gonna be there was a traffic jam literally in Richmond so like I'm just having having a fun drive I finished uh Prisoner of Azkaban so that was fun I finished that pretty quickly I was closer to the end than I thought I always forget that there are like 30 minutes of credits at the end of the Harry Potter audiobooks because like most audiobooks have like three minutes worth of like credits at the end and Harry Potter's got a lot so I did finish that and I'm decently into Goblet of Fire now like an hour and a half Harry's at the burrow um so yeah it's going well uh I don't like Goblet of Fire as much but it is cool to like listen to it in a different format so oh well I'm very much looking forward to Order the Phoenix um that's that's the next one I'm looking forward to although I am concerned because I only have three weeks to listen to these I can only check them out for three weeks at my library So it is Sunday and I'm driving back home. Um, I'm in North Carolina now. I spent the weekend in Charleston. I think I mentioned that, that I was heading down to Charleston, but yeah, I, I'm back up in North Carolina, heading up to Richmond. Um, I have a few more hours to drive. I'm only about, I don't know if I'm halfway. I think I'm like halfway-ish. I've got like three more hours minimum, but it was a, it was a fun weekend. Um, we went thrifting we went to the beach on saturday night which saturday night friday night we went to the beach and i'll like probably insert a picture of like the the one picture i took of the sunset even though it was kind of like post sunset so it was kind of dark but it was nice to go to a beach i haven't been to a beach in years and and it was a really lovely beach and saturday we did a lot of thrift store shopping and that was fun i bought way too many books which no you can't see in the bag well you can kind of see they're just like stacks of books in my back seat. One of the thrift stores we went to had like really nice bookshelves or like, I mean, they weren't really nice bookshelves. They were like fine and cheap and like it, they were only $9 and like there were three of them and I was like, I could get one, but I'm not sure it would have fit in my car and I didn't really feel like trying to cram it into my car, you know? So I just, I didn't, um, I didn't buy it, which is sad because I, I really would have I don't know. I would have liked that bookshelf because it was like, it was about like three shelves high, so like it had room for like three shelves in it, and it had um, and it was like almost four feet wide, a little bit less I think. But I don't know. It would have been nice to have, but oh well. Um, yeah, I'm just driving back now and listening to more Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which I'm, I'm nearly halfway through with it. I think. Um, yeah we're getting close to the first test which is fun because I'm honestly not the biggest fan of Goblet of Fire I think it's my least favorite of all the Harry Potter books I don't like tournament style books they're very like formulaic to me I've discussed this before but I just don't like tournament style books so I'm not the biggest biggest fan 
but I mean, it's still Harry Potter. I still quite enjoy it. Today is Monday. Uh, I didn't really vlog any when I was driving back just because I was tired and like, I don't know, road trips are boring to vlog because it's just me sitting here for hours in my car <laughs> listening to Harry Potter. Um, it is interesting to listen to Harry Potter uh, via audiobook because Jim Dale, who I'm listening to, reads it a lot slower than I read it. Like, just by nature, audiobooks take longer to listen to than it takes me to read something. Like, I can read a Harry Potter book in, like, three hours. Jim Dale takes, like, you know, 12 or 14 or whatever to read it. So it does give you a lot more time to think about, like, specific things that I might not necessarily think about, and that's really cool. Um, I do like it. I'm, like, past halfway of Goblet of Fire and it's going well. Um, still listening to it. I'll get it done before the three weeks is up, so that's good. This morning I returned, I turned in my job application for, um, to the police and, I mean, I'm not applying to be a police, but that's where I had to take it. And, like, the, the second stage of the application, because I applied online and this was, like, the post-test, like, personal history form, whatever. It was, like, 30 pages long and super intense and wanted everything from my job history to past relationships to references from neighbors and I was like okay <laughs> like it's scary when you're told you have to list all your ex-boyfriends from the past three years and then I was like oh good I have none for the past three years so yay um today at work I'm going to be reading Five Dark Fates which is the final book I forget which number the final book in the Three Dark Crown series I read nothing over the weekend with my friend which like honestly not surprising but yeah I read nothing so I'm going to be reading this today at work and speaking of work um I was looking at the schedule for this week and next week and the week after and the schedule stops at 7 30 and that's scary because I didn't Normally the schedule stops at 9.30 because that's like when the managers leave because we close at 9 and it now stops at 7.30 and I was not informed of this. I didn't know anything about this. Like I'm still scheduled two days to 9.30 this week. Um, tomorrow and the day after I'm scheduled to work 4 to 9.30 but it's like me and two other people it seems on the schedules haven't been changed down to 7 30 so I don't know what my shift is going to be those days if I have a shift because like 4 to 7 30 sounds a little bit ridiculous um I'm not sure I want to go especially because like when it's 30 minutes after close we never actually take that long to get out we get out at like five minutes past so I don't know if I want to come here for like a three hour five minute shift um but like I don't know it's kind of nerve-wracking because like if I don't if I'm not at work, I'm not getting paid and like I, I need to make rent. Um, I have some savings, but like not that much. So that's kind of nerve wracking. I have to go in. I haven't been into work since Thursday. So I know nothing about this change. I know nothing about what's going on. It was just scary to look at the schedule and be like, what is, why are the managers not here past 7.30? So I think we close at seven, which I don't know. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of nerve-wracking. I'm just, I'm sitting in my car because I had to go by the police station this morning, so I got here way early, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I'll probably end this vlog soon just because I feel like it's very, very long at this point, but probably not yet.